Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a brand new channel. It's called Crooked Chicken. Not really sure why, just kind of a name I'm rolling with right now. It's going to be about music and video games and TV and just all that kind of pop culture shit that we're all borderline obsessed with and we can't live without. But anyways, you know, if you like the content and you like the news or anything that comes along with it, please subscribe. You know, I appreciate it. I appreciate any comments you want to give, so just leave those comments down below. And, uh, you know, I also have another channel. It's uh, called All Effed Up. It's about mental health. It's something that's very near and dear to me because I have struggled with anxieties and depression and self-esteem issues for most of my life. So really, it's just a podcast about me sharing my struggles and it's just in hopes that somebody will get something from it and maybe help them along with whatever they're going with or just being able to relate to it. And, you know, with that being said, you know, you can follow me on podcast or podcast. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and, you know, with all of that. So let's just get into today's content, which is The Last of Us. We had a lot of Last of Us news this week. It was kind of a big deal. They've been they've been filming the TV series that's due out next year, I believe. I hope it is anyways. And they had the announcement of the Last of Us remake for PS5. They had the announcement of the uh, the multiplayer game that's supposed to be coming out. You know, they had another announcement regarding the TV series. But let's get into all of that. First of all, I fucking love this series. I think it's an amazing game. You know, I played the first one, I don't know how many times through. Just probably over a dozen times through, if not more. And, you know, as you can see in the background, I have a couple posters. So, you know, like I said, I'm a huge fan of it. And, you know, it's you really get sucked into the story. into the You really get kind of uh, sucked into the characters. You really just have a lot of feeling invested in all of it you know they originally released last of us it came out in 2013 for the ps3 it's by naughty dog they're the same studio that did the uncharted series um you know they uh recently had a movie for uncharted i have not seen it it from what i heard it's not that good but you know i'll probably still watch it just for the sake of it because i did love the games for that as well but getting back into the last of us um you know, with that game, you know, we had, you know, the PS4 came out, so they put out a remastered version, and then a sequel eventually came along a couple of years ago now. That's actually, it's two-year anniversary, I think, yesterday, the day before. And it was met with mixed reviews. You know, a lot of people didn't like the way the story went, and it just made a lot of people mad. <laughs> but... You know, me included, I got pretty pissed, but I understood the story had to go where it did and for what reasons that it went that way. But regardless, you know, we still love the characters, we love the games, you know, but let's move on. Um, along with all the news that came out this week, you know, we know that they've been filming The Last of Us TV series. It's been filming for the last year up in Calgary. Um, that's up in Canada. And today was actually the last day of filming. So I'm really hoping that we see a trailer here in the next couple months. You know, because I'm just, I'm just fucking stoked for all of this shit. And, you know, they, um, they, uh, there's actually a Twitter out there. I don't know if it's an official thing with HBO, but it's called HBO's The Last of Us. You know, it's on Twitter. It, uh, does uh there's footage and pics and just random updates about the show we actually saw our first look at some of it today i think this was actually an official release it was a picture of joel and ellie hiding in the museum you know that's from the first few stages of the game they're hiding in a museum from a clicker which is awesome i can't wait to actually see you know what they do with the clickers and what they do with the infected and how how they bring that to life and everything but um uh, you know with all the announcements regarding the show the big one that came out this week was that 
the ama- the amazingly talented Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, the voice actors for Joel and Elliot from the games, will actually be taking, you know, they will actually be in the series. They haven't revealed what role they'll actually have. They said it's a major one, though, so, you know, hopefully that's the case, and, you know, hopefully the series itself does just does justice to the games because, you know, we see so many movies and TV shows that just completely destroy the legacy of the games that they came from. But also the next big thing that came out this week with all these updates, the PS5 remake. But anyways, they had the announcement trailer come out for the PS5 remake. It's supposed to be completely torn down and just redone for the PS5 regarding its graphics and, you know, the 60 frames per second and all that shit. And, you know, they said that they tore all this down, did all this. I'm sure it will probably have additions and maybe uh, they'll... I actually think I saw in the trailer there will include the DLC content that was from the original one. And it's actually set to come out this September, September 2nd of this year. They're supposed to release that. It's supposed to come in different, you know, uh, packages available, ranging, I think, from $79 to $100. Just, there's supposed to be three different ones. They'll come with different perks, you know, different uh, access to weapons and just all kinds of different shit like that. But anyways, and to the final update this week that we had from all of this, you know, because they had the uh, big... um, I can't remember what the fuck it was called, but the Summer Con or Summer Game Con or whatever it was. The other update come from this was the new multiplayer game set in the world of Last of Us. This is supposed to be a whole new online experience, you know, set in that world with new characters and just because, you know, they had the they had the factions from the first one that everybody loved, and I believe People are still playing it, and they didn't do the same thing for the second one. I think that pissed a lot of people off. So they're doing this whole new game instead of doing the factions, I believe. And uh, Neil Druckmann said we should see some some more of it next year. I I don't know what the exact release time frame is, but he said we're supposed to see more of that next year, kind of get more of a clearer picture of what it's supposed to be. All they really released so far is just some concept art. But those are the big updates this week for The Last of Us. You know, we have all these things coming out. We got the series that's supposed to come out next year. Hopefully we get a trailer soon because I'm fucking stoked and excited and I cannot wait to see how that turns out. You know, I'm putting kind of a lot of stock in it. And then we got the PS5 remake that's coming out. We got uh, Troy and Ashley being a part of The Last of Us series. You know, hopefully they give them, they do them, you know, they don't do them dirty and they give them a great fucking role in that show because they did so awesome in the games. And, you know, we just hope that they do them justice. And then finally we had the announcement of the new, the new multiplayer game. So hopefully we get more news on all of this stuff and hopefully... Just it just keeps coming because this is an amazing series, an amazing world, and I just hope they, you know, keep pumping out the material. And honestly, I hope that they come out with a decent story for Last of Us Three. If it happens to happen, you know, I hope it does because even though as much as I didn't really enjoy the second game, I still want to see it go on because I think there's still more story to tell. But anyways, guys. If you enjoyed this content and you enjoyed all the news, please comment below, subscribe, and also, like I said before, check out my podcast channel at All Effed Up. You know, just, uh, I'll appreciate all the support, guys. So thank you and take care. Bye.